Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you what I just purchased, my major purchase that I did, um, I think it was a week ago, I went to Costco and I saw these brushes and I think you guys know by now how much I love Costco brushes and how much I love a good deal. So I found these brushes, all of these, for 20 bucks and they're really, really good. And they have a good range too, so this is how they look. All of them. Yeah. There's a few here. I'll just show you step by step each one of them and tell you what you can use it for. In the set, there was also this, which you can put your brushes in. Yeah. And it just closes up like that. It's a cute brown type of pouch. It also has a mirror but I don't have it right now. Anyway, inside there's actually a pamphlet that looks like this, like that, and tells you what every brush is for and how you should clean it and what it's made of. So yeah, this is really good to keep. Okay, now I'm just going to go from the biggest one to the smallest one. Biggest one is this, and I think I'll just tell you what I use it for because yeah, anyway, that this I use for um, translucent powder, just to put on top, or setting powder, or anything like that. Just powder to put it all over your face. So that's what I use that for. It's so soft, I'm sorry, I keep touching it. Okay, this is a bronzing, bronzing um, brush, sorry. And I love that it's so tiny. It gets you places, like under the eyes or anything like that, if you want to put bronzer there but, well, you wouldn't want to put bronzer there, but you know what I mean, like, you can use this with foundation as well, um, liquid foundation, cream foundation, stuff like that, yeah, so this one's really good, um, this you use for blush, and it's really good, because you need to apply the blush over here, and it's angled that way, so you can put it just here, that, that's really good, um, this one's for foundation, basically, um, it gets in the spots that you can get in with this one. So, again, under, but really under the eyes and the nose area and the T-zone and stuff like that. So, yeah, these two for liquid um, foundations. This one right here, it's just a fluffy brush. I love that it's so big and it gets the eyeshadow on the whole entire lid. So, I love that. Um... This one is a blending brush, and this is for crease or blending harsh lines and things like that. Uh, this one, it's basically not square, but straight at the top. It's just on an angle like that. So I don't know if you guys can see see it. This is um, for ac accentuating your crease. So when you put a darker color, you want to put it uh, put it above the crease with this brush and it'll just make your eye really pop. I'll um, do a tutorial with that kind of um, eye probably soon. Yeah. Um, this is a tiny, tiny, tiny brush. It's for um, smudging, so you can smudge the cold pencil with it, but I would just take a really dark eyeshadow, put it here, and then put it on the lashes, lash line, basically. This is a straight eyeliner brush. I've already used it, yeah. Um, this is for gel liners and things like that. It works really well. And I love that it's straight because it gets everywhere. And this one's just a eyebrow brush. It just goes like that. You go like that, yeah. This one's pretty straightforward. I don't know why I'm doing my brushes right now. My bro I don't know why I'm doing my eyebrows right now. Anyway, these are all of them. And again, in the pam pamphlet, it explains everything, so you are good to go. Um, thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.